Hello again YouTube, this is Fahrenheit646, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm in my testing world because I wanted to show you a up an update on a design I made a while back. So if you've been subscribed to me for a while, you might remember a video I made a while back. It was about how to make a realistic water fountain in Minecraft, and it basically had water shooting up into the air and landing into a basin or a pool somewhere and it got thousands of views for a while it was my most popular video and now I think it's my second most popular video and yeah so thanks for that but recently I looked back on it and said you know what now that it's 1.7 and we're actually nearing 1.8 but you know now that it's so much later in Minecraft I, I think that there's a much easier way to do it and there is, there actually is it's way easier than having to go into MC Edit and apply all those crazy crazy filters like I showed in my last video so I'm just gonna show you it here so this is pretty much the same setup it looks exactly the same if I turn it on right here you'll see the same thing happening it shoots up the water shoots up into the air and I'm not really sure what's going on right there I think it's just a bug but yeah it lands in this basin right here and the water flows down and just kind of fills up the basin, exact same thing. Works exactly the same, and it is an infinite water source. Like if I were to come along here and, oh no, get a bucket. If I were to come along here and get a bucket, then scoop this up here, it gets instantly refilled by the water coming back in, you can see. I can, if I, I'm, I'm spamming right clicking. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Looks and works exactly the same as my, uh, as the previous design but it's way way simpler and uh, this doesn't actually have to be here I could break this and it wouldn't affect anything I just thought it looked cool but for demonstration purposes I'll break this and show you this is just where I wanted the water to spawn it, you know nothing special about it okay so now I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to show you how it works so this is literally um, all the redstone there is that actually here it is this is literally all the redstone that it takes. This is literally it. Actually, well, for mine there's a bit more you can see right here. But this is pretty much it right here. So, there's basically just a redstone block and these on and off buttons are just using the set block command. The off one makes this air. It's like if I press the off button, if I press the off button it replaces the redstone block with air. And then if I press the on button, it just places the redstone block back. So that's how I made it on and off like that. It... Okay, then. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, so that's all that is. Pretty simple. And then that's... So the redstone block is powering this uh, this redstone comparator here. And it's actually... It's in subtraction mode. And if you put a redstone comparator in subtraction mode which means that the torch right here is up like that and you loop the redstone back into it like this that's gonna cause it to flash rapidly and then if you connect it through this side the side that isn't leading directly out of the comparator it will cause whatever it's connected to to fire over and over and over again so that's how I got the command block to do that and then the command in the command block is summoning the water uh, a falling sand entity with the tile ID of water and it has a velocity which shoots it into the into the whatever it's called right there uh, the basin <laughs> and so I'm gonna show you the command because I'm sure you don't really you have no idea what it is so uh, so there's slash summon right here it's a slash summon command and I'm summoning the item I'm summoning is a f falling sand uh, entity a falling sand entity and over here, these little tildes and the numbers, this is where I want it to spawn, like the coordinates. And these little tildes here, these things mean relative. So I'm spawning it four Y coordinates up and two Z coordinates over from the command block. So it's relative to the command block. And then inside of these little, everything inside of those these two curly brackets are, everything over here is all the information that makes it go where it needs to go and be water and all that kind of stuff so 
I'll go through it one by one here. The tile ID. Uh, the tile ID is 8, and 8 is the idea of water. So, yeah. That's why it needs to be 8. Uh, time here. Time needs to be anything other than 0, and it'll work. If it's just 0, the water won't move anywhere. It'll just despawn the instant it's spawned. And then a uh, drop item here needs to be 0. If it's 1, when the water lands, it's going to drop all these tiny little... Uh, it's actually going to drop water items that people can pick up and place down as water, so you don't really want that. And then motion here. This is uh, what velocity do you want it to have in the x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. So you see I made it uh, not move in the x-axis, move have a, have a velocity of 0 in the x-axis, have a velocity of 1 in the y-axis, and a velocity of negative 0 0.5 in the z-axis. And that is what causes it to come out at its at the angle it does come out and land where it does. And like uh, if I mess with anything, I can make it come out higher or lower. Like if I'm I'm gonna make the y a crazy height, I'm gonna make it five. And now you see it's going it's going way up there. And I think it might actually be going out of the world. Oh no, here it comes. It's coming back down. And you can see it lands in a different spot because it's uh. Because the velocity affects everything like that. So, yeah, there's how you make a realistic water fountain in 1.7. Really, really simple. And uh, I'm going to include this command here in the description in case you're not good with redstone. And you just want to copy it into a command block. So you can copy and paste it. And uh, you can tweak around with the velocity here in this little area right here. You can mess with these until it lands in the spot where you want it to land. And, yeah, really, really simple. So, yeah, th there you go. That's how you do it. Uh, that's going to have to do it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Fahrenheit646. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a rating, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Goodbye.